Hello my friends, welcome to today's blue episode. Today we will be building this. This is a Yagi Uda antenna for less than one dollar. You can use this to greatly extend the reach of your Wi-Fi network. First let's have a look at the use case. Let's calculate the antenna and then let's build it. Have a look. So let's assume that this is my garden. And in the right upper corner there is my home. And of course I do have Wi-Fi at home and I'm enjoying great internet connection, high-speed internet connection at home. However, on beautiful days when the sun is shining, there is this nice spot in the other corner of my garden. And uh, I love to sit outside and maybe work outside or just sit there on Sundays with my tablet and trying to enjoy internet. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a SIM card, so I have no 3G or LTE. So what can I do? I can just add a Yagi Uda antenna to a Wi-Fi access point at home and that will greatly extend the reach of my Wi-Fi because the beam pattern of the Yagi Uda antenna has a very strong forward characteristic. That means it can extend the reach of my Wi-Fi into one direction dramatically. And hence, the Wi-Fi signal reaches the beautiful spot, giving me great internet access in summer. Before we can build the antenna, of course, we need to calculate it. And there is a lot of Yagi Uda calculators available, some of them online. But the one I prefer is the one from VK5 DJ um, Radio because it gives me the opportunity to enter much, much more parameters. So in our case, we enter the frequency, which is the median frequency. I entered 2442 MHz, which is 2.442 GHz. We only have five directors and we have a boom that is the middle bar, which is roughly 15 millimeters in size. Um, one needs to keep in mind that the online calculators mainly assume that the boom is made of metal, which is not the case with VK5DJ's calculators. So I enter all the other parameters I want, five uh, directors, of course we have the reflector, and it will give me the, the values of how long the wires need to be. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build the antenna. So what do we need? We don't need much. If you have a caliper, that would be great. If not, a ruler will do. I found this piece of foam, which will be a great material to build the boom. Otherwise, you can use styrofoam or wood. That, that is good as well. We need a cutter and um, we do need a ruler. And obviously, if we want to write down the elements, we need a pen. Furthermore, we need some wire. I found this wire in a drawer, it's just uh, iron wire, copper wire will do as well, but it doesn't have to be copper wire. So let me just take the, the measurements which uh, VK5DJ's calculator gave us. The next step is just to pin some small points with a pen on the paper where the elements should be placed. Now let me just take this and I will just cut this out. Here is the foam for the boom, so I just take the pen, I put the paper on the boom, I take the pen and I just draw the holes where I want to put the wire. I'm just drawing a line to make sure that they are really in line. Let me just cut this. And so the next step will really be to mark down the length of the wires. So we are roughly between 50 and 60 millimeters. So I just wrote that down. I made markers at uh, 50, 51, 51.5, 52, 53 and 60. I'm just straightening the wire. I take my cutter and roughly cut it to the corresponding length. I take my caliper, see if it is okay. In my case it is a bit too long, so I'm taking sandpaper and just sanding the, ed the edges off until the length is roughly the required length. So now we do this with all the other elements. Just measuring, cutting, measuring, and if needed, sanding. So now I have uh, cut and sanded all the elements. They are all at the required length. I have my boom here just double checking which one is the hole for the depot antenna. I tried to make a hole with my pen, but the foam was too dense. So I just took a drill 
and um, made a hole in it with a drill. Now if you're using styrofoam or something softer, then, then maybe you can just uh, go through the material with a pen or with, uh, with a screw or something. Now I'm just putting the wires in the right order. Make sure you put them in the right order. The leftmost element is the reflector, so that is the, the longest element close to the deep hole and then you go from the longest to the shortest element. So here's the finished antenna. We can see the hole which we will put over the antenna of the Wi-Fi access point. And so here's my access point. I put a cable binder on the antenna to roughly give me an indication where I have to put the boom. And I just try if it fits. I'm just hooking this up because I was also running a first test with a laptop next to me if the antenna really works. And let's just put that over the antenna. Now let's go ahead and test the antenna. The values here are shown in decibels to the milliwatt. And you need to be aware that a change of 3 decibels to the milliwatt actually means doubling or dividing by 2 the sending power. A difference of 10 means that we're actually multiplying the power by 10 or dividing it by 10. So the standard position keeping the antenna upright is roughly minus 50. Pointing it to the access point is 10 decibels to the milliwatt less. So I'm dividing the power by 10, putting on the Yagi Uda antenna and pointing it to the device the power, sorry, the signal goes up to minus 43, minus 45 decibels to the milliwatt. Let me just turn it sidewards and see what that does. Now the power drops dramatically by 20 decibels to the milliwatt, pointing it to the access point again, and it goes back up to minus 46. So the antenna works. Great. So this concludes today's blue episode on building a Yagi Uda antenna for less than one dollar. I hope you liked it. Maybe you're trying to build one. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Um, please also let me know if you disagree with anything, if you realized that there were any mistakes or if I said anything wrong or wrongly. Um, most importantly, please do subscribe. That helps me to produce more of these for you. And um, I put a link to everything that uh, we used in this episode in, in the comments so you can order it on Amazon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.